Dear students, welcome to your course Basic Timber and Steel Design. In this video, students will be explained with the introduction of steel plate girder and its design steps. At the end of this lecture, students should be able to discuss the conceptual difference between universal beam and fabricated plate girder. To explain the failure modes of restrained plate girder. To analyze and design plate girder for shear buckling and moment capacity. To analyze and design intermediate stiffener and plate girder for tension field action. To discuss the difference between bearing stiffeners and intermediate stiffener. To carry out detailing of stiffeners. Before we start, let's review on the course outcome and program outcome of this course. There are two course outcome. Design the basic structural components of steel and timber using relevant codes of practice and evaluate structural components of steel and timber for safety adequacy using relevant codes of practice. Whereas the program outcome of this course are PO3 and PO5 as stated. Plate girders may be defined as structural members that resist loads primarily in bending and shear. A plate girder is used when we need deeper sections having higher stiffness to carry heavy loads. The key difference between a beam and a girder is the size of the component. Plate girders are built up from two flange plates and a web plate. Plate girder has higher moment, shear and deflection capacity. Flange and web can be of different grade steel. Size of plates consists of flange and web can be chosen by designer. Plate girders are commonly used for spans of up to 15 meters. For economical design, plate girder generally has very thick flanges, large depth but very thin web. As the D over T ratio is very high the web is susceptible to buckling. Stiffeners are usually required to strengthen the web. Continuous automatic electric arc or submerged gas welding is used to form the fillet welds between the flange and web, and usually performed as a double pass one on either side of the girder. A plate girder is a steel beam that is widely used in bridge construction. Girder is required to carry heavy loads on relatively long spans. Plate girders are commonly used as long span floor girders in buildings, in railway and road bridge girders, and as crane girders in industrial structures. Steel plate girders can undergo various failure modes. These include web buckling due to shear and bending, web buckling when subjected to heavy concentrated loads or reactions, flange local buckling, lateral torsional buckling and vertical flange buckling or flange buckling into web or any combination of the stated failures. These failure modes can be prevented by providing sufficient lateral restraints for example a composite slab to avoid lateral torsional buckling. Adding transverse stiffeners along the length of the beam web. Function of transverse stiffeners are to help combat the effects of web buckling and to provide support to any concentrated load or reaction. There are three types of transverse stiffeners. Load-carrying stiffeners, load-bearing stiffeners and intermediate stiffeners. Load-carrying and load-bearing stiffeners are physically the same stiffener, but separate design checks must be carried out for web buckling and web bearing. Tension field action refers to the phenomena whereby after the onset of shear local buckling, the shear capacity of the plate girder is significantly enhanced with tension field action. Design process of steel plate girder start with calculate the minimum web thickness, followed by bending resistance, basic dimensioning, web design and finally design of stiffeners. Here are the five basic steps in design procedure for steel plate girder. The related clause was mentioned in steps to be taken in design procedure. Thank you for your attention. You are awesome.